Hello everyone, and welcome to Masterpiece, first LEGO League's 2023-2024 season. This year's theme is all about art, and wow is this map colorful. From movies, to music, to sailing? In this video, we'll go ahead and break down every mission on the map and explore what it has to offer. First up, let's take a look at the overview of the Masterpiece map. Two homes are back, and they are keeping the colors the same. The west home is red, and the right home is blue. Now that we're looking at the west home over here, we can see that there are seven orange colored minifigs that start in the home area. In the east home area, we can see a loot minifig unit and some sort of stackable tower. The black lines on the masterpiece map are slightly different from previous Eflon maps. Looking at the line coming from the west home, only the left side of the black line is white. This means when building your robot, you'll have to put in extra consideration while placing the color sensor. There are a few straight lines that can be used to align using color sensors. Another change from previous seasons is that there are no apparent shapes outlined for scoring objectives. For instance, in previous years, we had colored circles to place and match colored objects, and black outlines for various tasks such as scoring the yellow truck in the superpowered season. There are some places on the map that may be used to score, such as the popcorn, theater masks, skateboard, temple architecture, music note, movie theater ticket, and center orange circle. I believe the orange minifigs that start in the west home may be placed in or touching these pictures on the map. The stackable tower begins in the east home and comes in two parts. There are five loot minifig units. One of these units start in the east home, while the other four start on the map. They are placed in the top left, middle left, middle right, and bottom right of the map. These figures use a pretty unique loop that seems to be more rigid than the loops used in previous maps. Hopefully these new loops will allow for more consistent runs. The loop unit can easily be picked up by a strategically placed axle. Try not to knock the minifig or the items it's carrying off the looped base. Looking at the other mission this robot is completing, you can see that there is an orange lever at the front of the mission. All the missions have an orange part that is the intended way you are supposed to complete the missions. Previous seasons, the interactable part was red or green. I've decided to call the mission the robot is currently completing, changing the set. When the robot pushes the orange lever down, the set changes once. The sets have different color knobs on them, yellow, pink, and blue. These can be used to easily identify how many points are currently being scored. There are tires that are used for weight to reset the lever. You may have to press the lever down multiple times to get the desired color. Near changing the set, there's what I call the 3D Movie Dragon. You'll have to pull the orange lever down to activate the dragon. This can be done on either side. Next up is what I call the Mixer. Near the Mixer is another looped unit. You may have to lift the volume knobs to score. Maybe each knob you complete scores a different amount. The knobs may be linked in the back. If you move one, you may move them all. I have a hunch that the video FLL provided is backwards, and that you have to knock the knobs down. Here's the same video in reverse and slow down. What do you think? Here's an image of the back of the mission that was revealed at Worlds in Houston. So maybe my hunch was wrong. The knobs are starting down. Next up we'll talk about what I call the Emotion Capture Studio. Here the mission model starts up with the screens down, and you will have to push the orange activator down to raise the purple screens around the minifig. Note that the orange activator handle is sloped up making it easier to grab with an attachment. The lever is a pretty high location and you will have to lower it considerably. I can see this being a hard mission for small, light robots. Next up we have a mission I'm calling the Blue Flower Performance. In this mission you may have to pull the activator to spin the top figure and open the flower. Here we have the main model for this year's Masterpiece theme. 
All three FLL levels are based off the same model I'm calling the Rock Concert. For this mission, there are three different locations to activate. Setting up the speakers, which looks pretty hard to solve since you have to lift in a circular motion. Turning on the lights, which seems pretty high up. In the top-down view of the map and the setup of the map at Worlds, the lever is actually raised up. And finally, pushing the orange lever in to reveal the performer. For this next mission, I'll be calling it the T-Shirt Maker. There are two parts to this mission. The first part will have you pushing the t-shirt into the press. The second part will be opening the lid to reveal the completed shirts. In the last season, they experimented with letting you create your own design on a white plate. If they are bringing it back this year, I think you'll be able to design your own t-shirts. Next up, we have the return of the chicken. This mission will probably be solved by pulling back on the orange lever, which will push the non-friction axle pin into the knob gear, which will rotate the chicken. This may need to be done multiple times to get the chicken facing the right direction. Here we have an overview of the train and the sailing boat. For the train mission, you'll notice the two orange interaction locations on the track. One is to launch the train, and another is to stop the train from moving any further. I believe you'll need to activate the train stopper to let the train go through to score max points. On the track there are colored squares that may indicate how many points you score depending on the location of the train. The squares are dark blue, light blue, and there's another square under the stopper that is almost white. At closer inspection, I don't think it's just the train. It has a camera on it and they're filming a movie with a sailboat. For the sailboat mission, there is a loop that is attached to a string that you will need to pull to drag the sailboat across the map. The front tires of the boat are on a cam, which will be popping the boat up and down while it's in motion. This means while the boat is being pulled, there will be resistance on the string when the cam is pushing the boat up. This will make it harder to pull the boat. One more thing to mention is that the white unit is probably dual locked onto the map and is used as a guide to pull the boat straight. And for the final mission, we'll be talking about the tower in the center of the map. When you activate the mechanism, the top of the tower begins to spin. There are colors on the side of the tower that may be used to indicate how high you'll need to push the mechanism up. There are also white pointers that help determine the color. I have a theory that you'll have to put the looped units on the orange axle arms to score bonus points. Thanks for watching. Please consider to like and subscribe.